it's Dino, Digit Spin Crypto, and welcome to the show. I don't even know what day it is. Ah, oh, jeez. Let's look at the calendar real quick and see, because I thought it was a Monday, but uh, yeah, it is a Monday. That's how crazy my life has been. I, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> so let me start off with this is not financial advice I'm just some crazy guy in a straw hat mumbling at the screen so uh, take it for what it's worth and uh, you know what I'm saying so let's go on with uh, wanna congratulate uh, Jason H he won himself 50 electronium on the last live show now you too can win either web dollars or electronium you have to put your, uh, uh, you know, your public address in the last live show. Now we do recordings in between. If you put them there, they won't be counted because I don't check those. Only live shows. So take a look at the live shows. Make sure you put it in. Obviously, when this goes to archive, you'll be able to put your address down below, and then be available to win on the next live show, whenever that may be. Hopefully each and every day at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, a lot of excitement going on. I don't even want to, oh my gosh. Craziness, craziness. We got all, we got this uh, magical uh, uh, competition going on between coins and uh, the communities of the coins. Having lots of fun uh, doing that and uh, trying to rally the troops along with the other folks the uh, other youtubers and uh, some of the groups everybody's really been contributing uh, i want to congratulate dijon he's really been putting in a, a yeoman's effort uh, to make sure everybody knows where to go to click on the links and uh, you know we'll talk more about that in a few seconds now we've added obviously closed caption so we're trying to include as many languages as possible uh, so that you can use that to reference that usually takes a few hours for me to get that active on each live show it takes a while for YouTube to process all the information get it working get it running so uh, you know it's a process to to make happen now we also have uh, a 1000 electronium giveaway a, a community member gave us a thousand electronium like the show so much they wanted us to give that away so we decided to give 1000 electronium at 1000 subscribers we'll have a special show just for that and we will give away 1000 electronium uh, to one lucky winner when we hit 1000 subscribers and we're halfway there so I'm pretty excited about that we've been doing this now what for five weeks maybe going on six and uh, we're halfway there so we're pretty excited about that and we thank each and every one of you that uh, participated by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell to let yourself know uh, when we do go live so that's uh, pretty exciting stuff all right let's get in now I'm gonna be honest with you I didn't set up a show at all today not one thing but Let's see what we can come up with. So, first thing I thought that was kind of funny is uh, our good old competition. Now, Chris Wallace is putting together, just some guy on Twitter and he put together, decided to have some fun since the markets are down so bad and, and it's gonna probably be like that for a while. Uh, do something fun and exciting, kind of motivate the troops. And uh, the Electronium folks have really stepped up and have felt the full spirit of what Chris is trying to do. And next up is round two, because uh, we uh, basically crushed uh, our competition, Verge, and uh, that allowed us to go to the second round. Now, the second round is with Neo, and I think this graphic pretty much tells the story of what's going to happen. Electronium's just gonna powerhouse and knock the kitty right over, and uh, I don't think they're gonna have a chance. But Neo is a very popular coin. I own Neo. I love my Neo coins. I, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, it is what I believe to be a very good coin. But that has nothing to do with the community supporting it. Electronium has just 
When, you know, when they talk about crypto whales, well, Electronium has the whale of, 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 of community members. There's just no other way to say it. You know, Electronium basically uh, is the apple of cryptocurrencies and is the whale when it comes to uh, the folks that are investors in Electronium and, and that follow the coin. So uh, I see this happening. I see us knocking out Neo. And of course, we want to move on to the third round. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to put all the coins together or if he's going to continue to whittle it down. Uh, I'll let this carry on for a while. Hopefully, it'll carry on for a bit more and uh, we can keep punching the ticket of each and every coin that, that goes up against the powerhouse known as Electronium. So, pretty funny, pretty exciting stuff and uh, we love it. So, let's take a quick look at the chat. Say hello to a couple people. So we got the Pulse. Pulse says, God bless you. As usual, we appreciate each and every blessing given to me because I'm going to need it. I can't even begin to tell you the amount of stress and nonsense that I'm dealing with right now uh, that I have to, to take care of. It's, uh, it's a tough thing to do, uh, be a business owner and have people rely on you and and... Uh, just everything uh, between crypto there's just everything i have so much going on i'm not even sure if i remembered it if i fell asleep <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you now i i'm hope i'm sure you guys saw we had a news alert i let um, a minor 49er take care of the news alert i personally was way too busy and so uh he volunteered to do the news alert and i hope you enjoyed the news alert uh, for round two competition I thought it was uh, a lot of fun to see him up on the screen and enjoying himself bringing that news to you. So uh, we'll probably see Minor 49er a little bit here and there. I think uh, we'll bring him in. What do you think, Mr. Bean? Yeah. Yeah, see, Mr. Bean thinks it's a great idea to bring Minor 49er back in, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. But what's going to happen to Neo is this. Yeah, Neo is going to just explode. <laughs> Okay, get rid of these guys, and we're gonna move on to the third. All right, so we got uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Hanif says yes, and he's excited to be here, and we appreciate you, Muhammad, uh, tuning in, taking a look at the channel, and participating. Uh, it's always good to see you. Uh, Paul's telling us uh, good evening and hello to everybody. Uh, we appreciate you, Paul. And we got uh, Frederico, and Frederico is out there, and he says, ETN, baby, all the way. Absolutely, I'm 100% with you. All right, um, let's see who else we got there. We got, uh, I guess we got a question. I'll take a quick look at it. It says here, any news regarding the patent? No one mentioned anything about it. Now, I did have a video, it's probably a couple of weeks ago, uh, where I did a video on the patent and uh, did some research, located the actual filing and showed that the, the patent exists and it's out there. I have not seen anything new on it and uh, still waiting to uh, get some information every once in a while. When I get a chance, I check in and uh, take a look and see uh, if there's any future news on it, but I am unaware at this time if there's uh, any additional information on the patent So we'll see as we go along uh, <laughs> And kid says uh, even neo doesn't like neo <laughs> Actually the folks that are into it, you know, it's actually neo is pretty decent uh, infrastructure based type coin and uh, you know, I, I give them congrats uh, to them, but yet again, you have to keep in mind, Neo is about the tech. Electronium is about what? It's about the people. It's about the people using it, bringing it to them, and letting them use the Electronium to do something better, actually putting it in the hands of folks like you and I to make it do something. Two different types of of uh, ways to go about bringing cryptocurrency. You know, you need some companies to invent some amazing tech 
You need other companies like Electronium to actually get it into people's hands. And we're going to see that. Absolutely. I am 100% guaranteeing myself. And this is for myself. I tell this to myself. I'm not telling you that. I am guaranteeing to myself that we are going to see some excitement with Electronium. Uh, some good user usage uh, in, the, uh, in the 12 months ahead of us. There's going to be some excitement. And keep in mind, no good news right now. I, you know, Electronium can say we are going to hand out bars of gold and people would complain they're not polished. Uh, it's right now, no good news is going to change the market or the sentiment that's going on. It, the market's got to work its way out of the doldrums that it's in. And, uh, and I'll talk about that as we go along. So uh, let's just see who else we got out there. We got Andy Bradley. Great to see you. Andy's out there. Yo, yo, yo. Good to see you, Andy. And um, 12th player. Uh, great to see you that you're visiting the show. We appreciate you. And uh, nice to have you here. All right. <laughs> nice, Paul. Nice one. I see what you wrote up there. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look and see what else I may have put together in this show that I had nothing prepared for. Let's take a look. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a random number so we can find out how much Electronium or Web Dollars we are going to give away to you. That's the reason why you come visiting us here at Digispin to be part of the Electronium and Web Dollar giveaway. We're going to pick that number. If it's below 50, we'll move it immediately to 50. If it's over 50, that is the number that you'll win tonight. If you are the lucky pick at the end of the show. So we're going to come over here. We're going to hit generate. And the survey says 12. 12 becomes 50. And tonight we're going to give away 50 electronium or web dollars of your choice. Just to... Uh, Put the, the appropriate wallet entry in the video. Obviously, you had to have done it already in the video prior. As far as live videos only, it has to be the show videos. It'll say show at the top of the, at the thumbnail, uh, live show at the top of the thumbnail. So make sure you do that as we go along. So take my trusty red pen. We're going to jot that down. We got 50 electronium or web dollars. All right, I got that jotted down. Trusty red pen. Now, I went to Popeye's. I don't know, you guys have Popeye's near you? Popeye's chicken? Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Popeye's chicken. And everybody, I used to love Kentucky Fried when I was a kid, but I don't even bother with Kentucky Fried anymore. That crispy stuff on that Popeye's chicken, just unbelievable. Ugh. My doctor says I got to stop eating so much fried food, but boo-wee. Popeye's chicken. <laughs> you got to love it. All right. Let's get some housework on it, and then we'll get back uh, to the chat. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in there, and I'll be able to answer those as we go along. So, yeah, Bitcoin um, surprisingly held in there. Still at 62. Did not break it yet, but, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's not impressing anybody. Let's take a quick look to see where we are. You just keep getting these fluctuations. Chances are these here are liquidations. Um, that's one explanation of it going up and down in such a drastic move. If once you get liquidated, they gotta move buy or they gotta sell uh, the bitcoins right there on the spot, and that can cause these types of things. I'm not sure what causes the Bart Simpson. I don't think anybody's figured it out except for that. But the moral of the story is, is that it's holding ground. Let's keep our fingers crossed uh, that it'll continue to hold ground and we don't see any further losses uh, with Bitcoin. I can't even begin to tell you where it's going to go because I see nothing exciting uh, on there. But uh, we'll take a look. Now, I do want to bring up the Bitcoin dominance. And you guys know, I always tell you to watch the dominance. And for the last few weeks, we were talking about the giant sucking sound that Bitcoin was making by sucking all the air out of these altcoins here. 
and it was taking all the money. And you can see these altcoins have taken a severe nosedive. So if you get a chance, you go out to uh, Coin Market Cap. You can uh, click on this. Uh, let's go back up here. You click on this uh, tools, and you click on the uh, global charts. Once you've done that, you'll get this page, and you can scroll down to the dom uh, dominance of Bitcoin. This is very important that you look at this. This is going to tell you whether or not all the altcoins are going to take a beating or not, or what direction they're going. And while Bitcoin is is uh, basically uh, sucking in all of the oxygen, taking all the money, you can see Bitcoin going up, 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 up as far as dominance. Dominance meaning more money is in Bitcoin than it is in the altcoins. It is actually past 50%. This is a big record. You're at 53%. Now, if you notice, this similar thing happened just before the explosion in December. And once in December it hit, boom, all of this money came out of Bitcoin and went right into these altcoins and lifted them. So we're starting to see the same thing with the dominance of Bitcoin. At some point, this is going to halt and you're going to see a drastic drop it's going to happen quick when this money moves from bitcoin back into alts i mean you're looking at a short period of time a week or two a couple of weeks it's just going to drain right into the altcoins and it's going to be fast and furious so make sure you get the best buys you can keep an eye on where they are while they're cheap and get the best buys you can so when this thing starts to come back down and bitcoin changes its dominance and starts ejecting all that money all these all coins are going to take a snag upwards so keep that in the back of your head all right let's take a look and see what we got going on in the chat here oh you guys got a lot of stuff all right paul saying uh Please, don't blow up Neo. I have a lot of money in it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Neo is an awesome, like I said, Neo is an awesome coin. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I really like Neo. Uh, I have uh, a few Neo coins and uh, keep them uh, locked away in a, in a, in a drawer <laughs> under lock and key. I, I like NEO too because it pays dividends in gas so and, but you know nothing's making a whole lot right now but uh, regarding this contest electronium is gonna is gonna thrash them there's you just can't compete with the electronium community it is so huge and massive in such a tidal wave that the other coins swear that we're using bots Okay, they just can't even fathom the response, the tidal wave that just washes over them without them even able to take a breath. It, it, it's so dramatic and massive, it, it gargantuan, Godzilla in size that they just, uh, they just can't believe their eyes and think that Electronium's cheating. It, it's... Uh, it's rather funny and, 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 and fun. I don't even know what to say. It, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. But let's uh, move on. Let's see what else we got. All. So, uh, yeah, Paul saying, hey, uh, Paul, you sounds like a personal problem. I'm not sure exactly why you'd want to discuss this on YouTube. But Paul says that uh, Neil gives him gas. So, um, you know, they have uh, Pepto-Bismol and Tums for that. You can take care of that as you go along so <laughs> good luck with that <laughs> all right uh, we got mkid out there mkid saying um, hey we can all be surprised together keep up the good work you know we appreciate that mkid i'm glad that somebody appreciates something that i'm doing it's uh, a lot of work a lot of energy but i'm gonna tell you it's my personal belief that as we start getting into next year that electronium <laughs> electronium is gonna have a, an amazing benefit for all the folks that uh, have stayed with it and believe in it 
I have no doubt in my mind, um, you know, over the next 12 months, we're going to see some really amazing accomplishments uh, with Electronium. So look into it, think about it. That's my personal opinion on the matter. But what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm just a crazy guy in a straw hat. So keep that in mind. All right. <laughs> and kids didn't. And kid says, oh, my eyes, my eyes, I don't want to look. He doesn't want to look at the charts and see what's going on. And we got Michael out there. Michael, he's saying, good evening. I am still new to my ASIC miner. I've noticed that the ETN reward is getting a, uh, for a block is getting down and going down slowly. Eventually hit zero. How will they reward miners when that happens? So that's a fair question to ask, Michael. And, and that's the reason why you came here to Digit Spin Crypto. So that I, Dino, can answer it for you. So let's take a look exactly what Michael's saying. Michael is saying, hey, you know, a couple of weeks ago we were making 1,300 electronium. Today we're making 770 electronium each and every day. Now the price of the electronium is going to also fluctuate based on how much each electronium costs. So I take that off the counter for now. Um, because I'm running one ASIC and you know even if it made a dollar I would still mine the electronium for the 770 because I know eventually they're going to be worth uh, have a benefit to me I'll put it that way uh, they're going to have a benefit to me all right so I could care less what they cost in dollars I just want to collect the amount of coins so uh, Michael's asking you know it keeps going down could it go down where I make no electronium and the answer to that is, uh, um, in the immediate future, absolutely not. Obviously, what happens is, is that you're in a pool when you mine. So if there's 100 people out there, and I'm using fake numbers for now, okay, to make the math simple so I can explain this. So if I go to a pool, and there's 100 other ASICs connected to it, and they're all running at the 220. Let's say they're all X3s, they're all running at 220. Everything is the same. All right, I'm just gonna, to make things simple. When a pool hits, and let's say it gets uh, a hit and it's paid in Electronium, uh, and it gets the, let's say it's, it gets the, let's just say it gets at 6,000. I, uh, I know it's uh, 11,400 coins. Or Let's make it easy. That's 10,000 coins it makes. Every, uh, every uh, 100 people on there uh, are going to get 100 coins uh, when it divides up the hit. And so this makes it easy uh, for everybody. So every time that we, we hit a block, I'll, each miner will get paid 100 coins. Now, if I sell more, or say I'm Bitmain and I sell 100 more ASICs and there's 200 of them out there, well, and all 200 of them go onto that pool, and now there's 200 miners, well, if we hit a block now, I'm only gonna get 50 coins. So the more ASICs that come into the market, theoret and get used on Electronium, you have to share with them the winnings, you know, more winnings don't aren't created and, and given. The same amount is given. You have to share the pie with more people. So in, instead of a pizza with with uh, six slices, you might have to make a pizza with 12 slices or 15 slices. You know, when you have a party, you have a lot more people. You cut the pizza up in smaller pieces. Now, uh, obviously, that can keep going on, and uh, to a point where you might make, you know, 10 or 15 coins. Uh, out of that, you know, that instead of a hundred, uh, the object there is is that it's a self-correcting mechanism. Because what happens is, if I'm only making twelve coins, and it doesn't generate as a as a mining farm, I have to make money with these things to pay the electric. And if I can't mine with uh, electronium or any other coin that the X3 will use, uh, what ends up happening is is that the, the, my, the farm has to look at it and say, all right, do I want to take a loss every day? Do I want to spend a thousand, you know, $500 a day in electricity to earn $200 worth of coins? So, A, 
they could switch the coin and go to a different coin or B, sometimes they even shut the miner down because it's actually cheaper for them to shut it down than it is to run, to run it. So one of those two things could happen. Uh, or, or, or three, they just leave it on there and they, they take a loss each and every day with the hope that it'll turn around. So it's, it's kind of a self-correcting. So if the 100 miners came on and now we have 200 and now we're making less coins, the miner then says, hey, I'm not making any money, and he takes his miner off, and now we go back up to the hundred. So it kind of balances itself out. Additionally, if it costs more uh, to make, or if the coin becomes more valuable, as a person who's mining it and selling it, well, you know, I don't want to really sell it at that low cost anymore. I think I'm going to sell it for five times more, ten times more, so I can try to recoup my costs and uh, that can happen also and, and it can raise the price of the electronium so you can make the same amount of money earning only a tenth of the amount of coins so uh, the only way it'll hit zero uh, coins is if the electronium network shuts down um, and, and you know or we get hit by an asteroid or you know locusts or whatever it is <laughs> all right so, don't worry about it, you'll always get electronium coins, and the object is as they get less and less, the, whole, the object is hopefully they'll get more expensive as they go along, and therefore it'll balance itself. Alright, let's take a quick look. <laughs> yeah, like MKid's saying here, he goes, it would take a real truckload of ASICs for it to reach almost zero. Can't reach zero. For it to reach zero, it would have to shut down. Uh, you, you know, it could reach point. It's like Bitcoin right now. I can leave my machine on, and I if I leave one GPU on, I get one one thousandth of a Bitcoin. It would take one thousand days of it running. That's three and a half years to earn one Bitcoin. So it, it could be small, but you'll earn something. All right. So uh, we got Imran out there. How you doing, Imran? Good to see you. Um, we got. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> M kid saying he's waiting for the the Bitcoin Viagra to kick in. Aren't we all? <laughs> Let me get to something else. I'm gonna hold off on the chat. I'll get back to them. Uh, I'm not gonna ignore you guys. So uh, we have. We have found the last golden tickets for the Electronium 242 contest. So that's pretty exciting. We're glad that he finally came up with it. Let's take a look. These were the last four spot winners uh, for the Electronium 242. Uh, the first one is M. Dadaro. <laughs> Let's give him a hand of applause. Uh, he put together a Twitter uh, a blurp on Twitter and uh, was, uh, you know, spot awarded from the team from Electronium. They liked what the, the guy put together uh, on his Twitter posting. So congratulations to him. I'm not sure. Let's see here. If I can, let's give this guy a heart. We're going to click down here. Give him a heart. And if you get a chance, go out there, uh, say congratulations, and uh, throw him a little love. And that's pretty exciting. Number two on the 242 spot winners is Mahim, Mahimi. And uh, this is her infographic for Electronium. This too is a Twitter. And she put together uh, some reasons why Electronium is great. Basically made a nice uh, graphic. So something like you would see in a magazine. And uh, real exciting, uh, nice to see. Let's uh, give Mahini a, uh, a a round of applause. Uh, definitely get out there, take a look, and let's give Miami a like, a little heart. There, I love giving away them little hearts. Those are fun, and uh, don't do it too often. But uh, it's fun on Electronium. Now the last two spot awards uh, were on Facebook. Um, I don't have a Digit Spins Facebook thing, so I got this little nonsense at the bottom. But Ben Cunham 
Uh, ben Keenan won himself a spot award, uh, number nine. And uh, he basically put a little posting in here that he joined uh, the Electronium Project and put together some good stuff there. Now, I cannot click on the link because I am not logged in and do not have a Digispin Facebook account at this time. So um, definitely get out there, give himself, give him a like, take a look and see what he has to say. And uh, a lot of fun. So our last winner, spot winner number 10, is Darlene Matro. And uh, give her congratulations again on Facebook. And she put together a uh, little infographic and some verbiage uh, about Electronium. So congratulations to all the spot winners. That concludes pretty much all the winners. We have our, our top winners, we have our spot award winners, and we had our random winner uh, award. So if Electronium 242 is done and it's all over with so um, I want to congratulate Electronium right Mr. Bean? Right. So congratulate Electronium for doing such a great job getting the community involved and I hope that they do something exciting and fun like this again. Uh, it was a, a, a lot of fun uh, you know we even made something uh, to put out on the screen I had some extra time and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it and uh, we had 600 people take a look at it, made some people laugh, you know, had a little fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, everybody likes to, to do some, something uh, to add to the community. And that's why our community is so strong and so vibrant. So uh, this is good stuff. All right, let's take a look here. Um, all right. So uh, Imran is saying, Neo is a great project, but it will have to be respectfully... Uh, be passed by Electronium purely due to the numbers of users. So I I agree 100%. I think that uh, Electronium um, is going to have, not only do we have 2 million users now, but if you watched Richard's videos, he said very clearly that uh, he's expecting tens of millions of people uh, to be using the Electronium platform. And when that happens, you know there's going to be a demand for the the currency and those that help prop it up i'm sure are going to see a benefit from that and you can watch those videos uh, on mick's channel mick does a great job uh you know bringing those to everybody and it's important to, to watch those videos so that you truly understand where electronium is going and why and how very important very important make sure you watch them it takes a bit of time maybe watch you know one a day you don't need to watch them all at once but uh, do yourself a favor okay all right Andy's saying yeah I saw that uh, electronium uh, uh, equals bots comment on Twitter yeah yeah I, you know it's the verge guys kept saying it left and right and now I think we have some of the uh, the neo guys going that old Electra coin Electra, Electra coin, Electra coin uh, is uh, I, you know when he said Electra, I wanted to give him the horn. <laughs> Wrong, it's Electronium. <laughs> and uh, you know th these guys must be using bots or something because uh, th it's just an unbelievable response. So uh, you know, uh, though we have a high amount and there's only you know six eight hundred votes in the last few hours, it's not like there's hundred thousand votes so it's a, it's a fair setup okay uh, let me see where it let's see. so let's see here we got uh, M kid says he says I don't think you understand how the blockchain works and mining works there'll always be someone mining the blockchain so I'm not sure if that's to me or to uh, the person asking the question uh, and yes you are completely right M kid, the block. You, you always have to have somebody mining the blockchain, and uh, otherwise it doesn't exist. And then when it doesn't exist, that's when Electronium or any coin can go to zero. But that's not going to be a problem. There's the especially on Electronium, Electronium blockchain, um, and uh, t you know the the timing, uh, the flow has been working primo. Not a problem with it. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my, my miner running, so. 
All right. Yeah, Imran saying that uh, we just dropped below 200 billion for the in the market cap. Uh, 197 billion first time in one year. Yeah, it's been. You know, this is uh, basically a rewind on the clock, almost a whole year of uh, of, of progression regarding the, the values of coins and total dollars put into it. It's uh, I'm looking at it like it's a second chance uh, at what the guys in you know in 2017 had uh, had the ability to to buy the coins at. So, um, you know, it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> uh, but uh, it is what it is. All right. <laughs> Paul wants to know, uh, will Miner 49 or trade in his pickaxe for an ASIC? I don't know. Maybe we'll make an, a pickaxe out of an ASIC or something. <laughs> I'll have to come up with something. I, um, you know, I have, I have a manufacturing plant here. I've been working on making a foam axe for him to carry around. We'll see what uh, we'll see what he comes up with as we go along. But uh, you guys read my mind each and every day. All right. Um, okay. We got uh, we got Duncan's out there. Hey, Duncan. Duncan, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Uh, you're going to have to rewind the show when you get a chance or watch it again from the beginning to see what you missed. Now, Duncan, uh, he's been, uh, we've been uh, Twittering and uh, he's been replying to some of my Twitters, giving me uh, some likes and hearts and all that good stuff. Uh, and I always uh, watch what he has to say. Um, I appreciate you, Duncan. Thanks for uh, tuning into the show. And uh, you missed all of the excitement in the beginning, but it's okay. It's all good. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Michael. Michael's question is, is uh, thanks, but he thinks there was a little confusion. So I misunderstood your question to me. And basically you were saying the reward per block is getting smaller every block. What happens when it hits zero? Okay. So re regarding Electronium, Electronium uses the Monero uh, code base so uh, the emission curve now what I want to tell you is is I've done a few videos on the emission curve take a look in the video library and look for any of the titles that say emission curve on there I've explained it uh, a few times but the moral of the story is on uh, Monero Monero uh, let's start with, with block uh, Bitcoin uh, divides in half after a certain point each time and it would keep dividing in half until it literally runs out of, of placeholders or satoshis. I think the smallest it'll get down to is like 27 satoshis in the year 2040, uh, uh, 2140 or something like that. It's 100 years. Now, Electronium being based on the Monero blockchain, uh, the Monero code uh, is set and designed uh, to be a little more elegant in its uh, division each and every day or actually each and every block it subtracts just a tiny super fraction and so instead of a, a stair step of having uh, the the electronium emission curve is actually a nice smooth line so the moral of the story is is that at the end of a year you would uh, so let's say you, you know this is January 1st uh, on January 1st of the next year there'll be approximately 40 percent of the emission gone so 60 percent would remain so if it was at a uh, thousand it would be 600 at the end of that term and then the next year uh, it would take 40 percent off more and it keeps doing that until it gets to about um, six or seven years. That's if Electronium doesn't change uh, the emission curve, which may be something that they might want to do at some point. But at year six or seven, I think it's around year six, on, on Monero, Monero uh, doesn't have a limited supply of coins. They basically um, just go on forever so when it hits year six or seven it stops and it stays up there and it just keeps going at that level from now until eternity and that's kind of where we are now so if you're mining if you mined Monero a few years ago you could get bags and goobs of these things 
now because it's at a small amount and it stays at that small amount and in perpetuity it'll just keep going on at that small amount it could take you you know it could take me you know three weeks to get a monero coin with 10 gpus running and uh, so you know it's uh, a lot longer process but you'll be able to mine monero in perpetuity now electronium has a limited amount of coins is probably about 8 billion coins that'll be mineable uh, with an ASIC. So my thought on that is at some point they'll probably, they're going to want to change the emission curve uh, to draw it out and so that uh, those 8 billion coins will carry it out for X amount of years, 50, 60 years or so. So they'll have to do the math, they'll have to take a look at that. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I won't be around, so I won't have to worry about it. But uh, after, uh, you know, if there was the point where there was no more coins, it comes down to transactions and the, uh, the miners can earn money by processing transactions. So not something that uh, you're going to have to worry about probably in your lifetime. All right. Okay. Let's take a look here. Um... Duncan, well, I'm going to answer this question, but Duncan wants to know uh, the news I found out. Uh, do you have a time frame when this will be announced? I uh, no, I, I can't say that I do. I would tend, I would tend to think that it will be announced by somebody, someplace, Electronium, somebody, probably by the year's end, most likely, maybe, probably. I. Just a guy, I'm just a crazy guy in a straw hat. What do I know? Um, what I can tell you is that um, Electronium, if you watch the videos that Richard uh, produced uh, with Mick, <clears throat> there was a lot of amazing content in there. And, you know, he spelled out a lot of good stuff. And, you know, basically he was telling you about uh, how things are going to progress with Electronium. And, um, you know, feel, feel comfortable, I feel comfortable personally, me, myself, and I feel comfortable with my, um, my investment in Electronium to help bring the future to um, tens of millions of others of people. So that's my personal opinion. You may find it different, um, and I hope you, you do... Uh, you do your own thing on that. All right. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> M kid thinks that Bitcoin's being played like the banjo. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff. No problem, Mike. Mike says, thanks for the explanation. I, I hope it was helpful. And please take a look at that video, uh, some of the other videos. You'll see the emission curve video. Might be worth your time. Uh, might doodle a little, little bit. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, let's see here. PA saying, ETN, Electronium is an amazing coin. Uh, but for the next 6 to 12 months, crypto is not going up. So you just got to hold on to it. You know, I'm, um, I, I, I'm looking at, there's a couple things that go through my mind when I'm evaluating Bitcoin. And you can do all the technical analysis you want. And, you know, that might buy you what's going to happen tomorrow. There's absolutely no way any of the TA is going to tell you what's going to go on in a week or two from that. It, crypto is too crazy. It's too crazy. The things that I do look at is this dominance. I know this is, I've been telling people for weeks that it's going to keep getting worse. And for these altcoins, because Bitcoin is just sucking the air out. So you, you look at this, it's an upward trend. You absolutely know you're going to lose money in all coins simple as that if you are depending on it for an income or you have spent more than you should have now people uh, I can speak for myself I could care less what the price of it is I don't invest more than I can afford to lose it can go to zero and it won't affect me and I'll be like well that was fun all right, but not everybody is in that position. Some people put in more than they can afford to lose, and then that becomes a pressure point for them. And you know, God bless you guys, and I wish you the best on it. 
But for me, I look at this stuff, I see this going up, I know all coins are gonna take a beating. It's as simple as that. Now, I also take a look at when there's these great peaks, uh, there was almost always a year or greater before it returned back to uh, a, a normal, robust market. And that doesn't mean, you know, prior history is going to produce, you know, future results. But that's the only thing that you have to go on is this is what's happened in the past. You know, it's possible that a similar type of situation will happen going forward. And, you know, so you have to consider that, you know, for the next, we've already been into this, you know, theoretically six months of a downward uh, trend. You know, you could, we could, it's possible to have six months to another nine months of, of uh, lazy performance. But, uh, you know, that, as you can tell, the news changes quickly when everybody gets all excited over crazy things like ETFs and all that other stuff. So that's based on hype and, and we'll, we'll have to see what happens with that. That's usually never lasting. You know, you, you want to see a step up, a plateau and a nice build up or, you know, go up and then come back and build up. But we'll see. All right. Hey, um, Paul saying, hey, two thumbs up on the emission curve video. I appreciate that. Um, and so Paul's recommending that you go take a look at the emission curve video if you want to understand a little bit more about electronium and how the coins are mined. And I try not to make it too technical, so it'll work out just for everybody. And Kid also thinks that electronium is uh, is basically it's a temporary thing for electronium to be uh, in this uh, low price condition. So um, I. I I'm going to have to be honest with you, Amkid. I think all the coins uh, are way lower than they really should or could be. And, uh, you know, it's, it really comes down to if you have money that uh, you can spare, I take a look around, I go through my, my change jar, I poke through my socks, uh, see if I have uh, $100 stuff in a sock somewhere or something like that. And, and whatever I can find, I am uh, buying coins. I was going to, I was since I had nothing planned for today, I was going to do the video on why cryptocurrencies will always be here with us. Maybe we'll try again for tomorrow. I, with my 30 years experience, I want to explain to you how I see the technology of, of, uh, of blockchain and how it can balance, how it balances out against some of the earliest software and beginnings of computers and why blockchain will never go away and cryptocurrencies are going to be here to stay. So I believe that full, with my, with my full heart, uh, that uh, this technology will never disappear. Now, it's going to have bumps, it's going to have attacks, there's going to be dictatorships, there's going to be all sorts of stuff to challenge the, uh, uh, the performance and value of, of the cryptocurrencies. But the technology ain't going to go away unless we get hit by an asteroid. Simple as that. All right. And Kid says, yeah, Dino, I agree, 100%. All right, appreciate that. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what else we got out here. I think I've hit everything, and I don't have enough time to do the the uh, why crypto is going to stick around. So I'm going to save that for another day. Let's take a look at uh, who's going to win 50 cryptocurrencies tonight. We did the random number, and 50 coins uh, was selected. So we're going to give that to one lucky person who put their address in the last live show video, which probably was on Friday. And so I'm going to fetch that. We have a total of 11 comments that will qualify. So if you did put your, uh, your address in on Friday's video, you have a one in almost 10 chance uh, to win. Really big odds for you. Ready? One, two, three. Let's pick a winner. Now, if they don't have an address, We'll have to pick again. Right, Mr. Bean? Right. Mr. Bean knows. Have to pick again. So let's give it a shot. 
And we got Dos Music. Congratulations to Dos Music. He has won himself 50 Electronium. Take the red pen, I'm gonna jot that down. Dos Music, I think this is the second time that Dos Music has won and uh, congratulations to him. So uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you feel generous, we'd appreciate it. And I will call for you tomorrow, probably at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's PM. Talk to you then. Bye.